Hi everyone, this is Tim from milehighthemes.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your header, navigation, and mega menus in the Showtime theme. So first of all, we're going to take a look at the theme demo we have here and we're going to sort of deconstruct the menu a little bit because we got a lot going on and you'd probably like to know how this is all set up. So first of all, at the very top, we've got this rotating announcement bar. We've got this departments menu, which is a slide out drawer that shows collections and its multiple levels. We've also got today's deals, which is a list of collections along with their featured images that you can set up to show in this grid. We've got the search bar. We've got a country slash currency selector that's set up with Shopify markets. We've got the sign in link and the cart. Then we've got this main menu with a multi-column mega menu with the ability to add images as well. We've got on sale, which is just a collection of products that you can show in a grid. We've got recently viewed, which is obviously the browsing history of your customers on your product pages. And then we've just got some standard menu links over here and some social media icons. So let's jump into the admin and see how this is set up. So here I am in the Shopify dashboard and I'm just going to go to online store themes and I'm going to customize the Showtime theme. So everything we're going to talk about right now is in the header area. And first of all, we can click header itself to see all the general options for the header. So this is where you're going to add your logo. This is where you're going to choose font sizes, whether or not the header is sticky and some other options here. So this is where you would set up everything for the logo, the search, and the cart, and things like that. So we'll close out of that, and then if we click this drop-down arrow, which is already clicked, then you can see all the blocks that make up the header. So as you can see, the departments menu is this menu right here. Today's deals and so on, we've got a few that are hidden, but we're going to run through each of the blocks here to kind of show you all the different options. So Showtime comes with a lot of different options for the header. All of these blocks you can add are just for the header and navigation, and they're broken into categories and they can be added into multiple locations within the header. So if we click on any of these, we can add one and we can take a look at the options. So I just added a menu option and there's not many options for this, but you can choose whether it should go in the header, which is this bar up here, or in the navigation, which is this one down here. So this one I added, just threw it in over here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. And instead, we're gonna go ahead and look at the ones that we already have. So the departments is called a drawer menu, and you can populate that by just creating a nested menu there's a lot of great tutorials on Shopify's help site about how to create nested menus. And we'll, I'll take you over to the menus area and show you briefly how a nested menu looks so you can see, but it's pretty easy to set up. There's some, a few different options here, including the thumbnails. And I'll show you how these images are populated a little bit later in the video. But we're going to move on to the today's deals which again, we've chosen that it's in the header section, which is up here. And then we've got a few options to choose different collections to show. Then after that, we have all collections, which is actually this first menu item here. Click on that, and that is a mega menu masonry. And a masonry menu basically just fills in all the available white space. You can see how these images don't really line up. Since this menu is really long, this this image shows up a little bit further down the page. So a masonry menu basically will fill in all the available space in your menu system. Whereas we also have another option here called mega menu columns, which will keep a fixed height for all of the columns. So even if this menu, for example, only had like two items in it, there would just be white space below, but all of the images would be on the same level. So that would be the columns. A link is obviously just a static link that you can add. You can add your email address and phone number. You can add a list of collections, which is what we've done in the today's deals. You can add a featured collection, which is what is in this on sale dropdown. So that's just you select a collection and it will show products from that collection in there. And browsing history, of course, is this recently viewed area where these are all the products that your customers have clicked through 
recently on your website. So there's obviously a lot of different flexibility here for the blocks. So I encourage you to play around with those. You can also drag and drop them around by just clicking and dragging and move them around and choosing where you want to put them within the header. The announcement bar is controlled up here in this separate area, so you can click on that. These are the general options I got to by just clicking on the words announcement bar. And then you can again add blocks to add your different announcements and have them scroll automatically up here. So that's a pretty quick and dirty description of how to set up your header and navigation in Showtime. Now I'm just going to jump over to where you set up the menus. So I'm going to exit out of here. So now I'm just going to jump over into the online store navigation and show you how the menus work. So you can see we've got a few different menus in here. We're going to look at this categories menu. You can see that it's a nested menu. So this menu is currently populating the department's menu here. So we've got dinnerware, decor, cookware, cutlery. We look at that dinnerware, decor, cookware, cutlery. Then if we scroll down and look at the menu items below that, dinnerware sets, bowls, dessert plates, salad plates, etc. And that's all of these right here. So that's just how you populate these. And as far as these images are concerned, this is actually taking the actual featured image of the first product in this collection and showing it here by default. So in the dinnerware collection, we're looking at the first product in the dinnerware collection and showing the image. So I'll just show this to you real quick. If we go to products and collections and go to dinnerware, you'll see that the first product in the collection is this white porcelain dinnerware set. So that's the image that's showing as the little thumbnail icon for this. And the same thing happens on these here. So in these heading collections, this is the first product in that collection. So that's what's showing up there. So as long as you have images populated, they should automatically show in here as these little thumbnails. So I believe that covers everything. I will include a link to learn how to set up nested navigation menus for the mega menus, but it's very straightforward. Um, it's just a matter of setting up links and then you can add new menu items. Like add, and then you can drag them into whatever position you want. And if you want to make them nested, you just drag them over a little bit, and you can see how this blue line changes the indentation. So now this one is below that menu. So that's just a brief rundown of all the header and navigation options you have in the Showtime theme. I hope it's been helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to our support staff. Thanks so much for using our themes, and have a great day.